What's going on Giants fans? I'm sorry I'm not in my Giants gear decked out right now. I'm actually filming another video, but I had to jump in right now and tell you uh, I really appreciate all the love. If you're watching this video and you watched my previous videos about Giants, I really appreciate all the love. And, and support even for those of us who have differences of opinion one thing that we do share in we all hate the fucking cowboys i know we can all agree on that eagles second actually I'm a, I, I would like to know what team you hate more none of us really hate the redskins because the redskins suck and they ain't never stole nothing from us um i would love to know on a poll do do are you more of a cowboys hater or eagles hater i've always been more of a you know, cowboys hater and the Eagles hater, but I hate the Eagles too, but I really hate the Cowboys. I, sometimes I get more pleasure out of watching them lose than I do watching my team win. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what's up. But I would love to, I'm going to put that poll up there. I would love to hear your feedback on that. But guys, so they wanted to draft. My reaction went up. I got a lot of feedback on, on my reaction. Andrew Thomas. Andrew Thomas. What? Yeah. Come on. I can get on board with that. That's, that's the best oh, left tackle in the God. trap. We get on board with that. I love it. I love Andrew Thomas. Come on, baby. Come on. Baby. I was not happy. I had to watch the entertainer celebrate. Yeah, Andrew Thomas and Bad Dog was like, yeah, Andrew Thomas. That's why I wanted to all the time. That drove me fucking crazy. I'm, I'm calm now. But, I mean, I think Andrew Thomas is, is going to be a great addition to our team. Let's let's not let me not be mistaken in that. I think he's gonna be a great addition to the team. I do like the logic of hey, we got three cornerstones right now on the offensive front. Got your running back, got your quarterback, you got your left tackle. If he pans out, that's a nice little that's a nice little unit to, to begin building with. Is Darius Slay, is he gonna be a receiver of the future that we got on a super cheap deal that we could have for another four or five years? I would love to see that as well uh so now our work is not over we got round two uh we didn't get simmons as i liked as i wanted as i hoped for but i'm coming around to the pick that we do have but now we gotta piggyback that by getting this next day right if we get this next day right this draft is still a win for me so the player that i i wanted Especially when thinking back to if we were to trade back and get more assets, one of the guys that I wanted is still on the board, and that's Utor Gruz Matos. I hope I said his name right. That is my dream day to pick, which I'm still processing. Um, but first, I also want to say I want to welcome Andrew Thomas to the team. I think he's a great pick, not the pick that I wanted. Of course, I was a Simmons guy, um, but but I'm, I'm happy for him. He's a good, solid player. I think he's going to – the points that were made by the guys that are like, hey, now we got our, our anchor left tackle, we got our quarterback, we got our running back, let's go. Um, I'm, I'm all for that. I just wish we could have got him a little bit lower, but nobody wanted to deal. That's for a whole other video. Let's get to this one. I had already uh, recorded a video earlier, but I did get a chance to get it out before the second round started. I might include some notes, some clips at the back end of this video. It's kind of like a moot point now. I was talking about some of the prospects that I wanted. Uh, I was really high on Utor Gros, um, Gros Matos. Um, I think he's he's gonna be an excellent player for Carolina. You know, uh, But I think at the top of the second round with so many people falling to us, we couldn't mess this up. You know, if T Higgins was still there when we drafted, I would've been fine with T Higgins. Um, getting the top safety off the board is a great look you know what i mean if you can go in the second round and get the top player at any position um that's that's a great find that's a steal this guy was first round talent the same way i felt for uh, gross matos i i resonated more to gross matos story and and his 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 passion his, his his drive his character i know that's a high character guy right there um from everything i'm seeing about him that's why i was really high on gross Matos. so my giants let me down twice they drafted the tackle that i didn't want that they drafted the safety that i could have done without but what i will say about the xavier uh, mckinney pick great pick i think he's going to be a, a great pro i just hope it's not another landon collins deal i hope we didn't draft the safety in the second round he becomes an all pro or pro bowler and then we don't want to pay him or you know landon collins is a little bit more than that's, that's not wanting to pay him but when you when you get second round when you when you get a second day guy who performs like a first day guy and you get to pay him for three or four years as a second round guy when it comes time for him to get paid gotta pay the guy um 
that's just the lay of the land. That's just what it is. Um, safeties don't usually stick with teams for a long period of time. I felt like if we got a guy like Gross Mottos, he could have been a stable, staunch defensive end for us for, you know, six, seven, eight, eight years. Um, and I think he had that that talent and that, and that motor. But I'm all on board with the McKinney pick. This guy's a crusher. He's a hard hitter. He's a ball hawk. Um, I think he does fix us not getting the Simmons pick in my, in my mind because he does take away – you know, help take away that middle of that field. He's going to cover some of them tight ends coming um, off the off the edge. He's going to cover them, them running backs coming out the uh, backfield. Um, I think he has the ability to to be a uh, play either uh, free safety or strong safety. This guy's a like I said, a ball hawk. He's he's quick to the ball. Gets in the backfield a lot. If you watch film on this guy, if you watch highlights on him, he gets in the backfield a lot. So in a sense, he plays a lot like Isaiah Simmons. Just in a smaller frame with the slower 40 time. Um, so I'm all on board with this pick. I'm super happy for the pick. Um, I want to welcome him to the team. Uh, let's go Big Blue. I'm, I'm waiting to see what we, we do on the next pick. Uh, I'll probably just post this video before I, I weigh in on the next pick. Uh, 99, we could get another sleeper. We could get another steal. The driver's playing all type of different ways. With the 99th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Matt Harris. Tackle, University of Connecticut. But I don't really have a dog in that fight. I think we improved right, our team vastly Hare, with University these two picks. I will say that. And um, I am feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday. So uh, let's go Big Blue. From the Gang of Hearthstone Media, we're in. We're ready for this season. All right, guys? Yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, you can click my face here to subscribe or here to watch more videos or was it here to subscribe and here to watch more how did we set this up again